Hundreds of potential buyers have hit Subiaco, hoping to secure their spot in the development replacing the derelict pavilion markets. One Subiaco is already selling fast and developers say that's all thanks to the state's recent stamp duty discount. Three buildings and 240 luxury apartments. One Subiaco is a step closer to transforming Subiaco's skyline. We'll have about 80 million in sales, so it's roughly about a million dollars in sales per hour, and I expect that to continue over the next week or two. Temporarily out of pocket. This weekend, 500 potential buyers will try their luck at securing a spot in the $235 million development. Blackburn Property Group says it's seen a huge increase in interest since the government slashed stamp duty by 75% for off-plan apartments. It's meant that it will sell quicker than it otherwise would have, which means the 400 jobs that are created out of this will start earlier. So we've pushed the button to bring construction forward um, and we're looking now to start in February because sales have been so strong. It's a move the Premier says is the key to jump-starting WA's struggling property market. It's a great time to buy. Get into the market, buy. Uh, it's never going to be more affordable. One Subiaco will feature a resort, retail and restaurant precinct, hoped to breathe life back into the sleepy suburb. It really becomes the new town centre of Subi, so we're going to have bars, restaurants, cafes, shops, $3 million worth of rooftop facilities. This is the view from the 10th level. Just behind me is Scarborough Beach. But if you have a look over east, you'll get views of Kings Park and the city. Apartments at this level will set you back at least $510,000. The project is expected to be ready for residents to move in by 2020. Lucy McLeod, Nine News.